The following is an encore presentation of New Expressions. Friday morning, I have coffee. I have Craig Stevens. <laughs> it's 10 a.m. The world is right again. It's all on. It's all on. It's game on. It's the New Expressions <laughs> time slot. Yes, it I is was 10:05. I was on yesterday, and you weren't here. I wasn't here. It was, was I? Rick was sitting here, and automatically I just grabbed the mic and said, "Friday morning." <laughs> <laughs> He's like, "No, <laughs> oh, no." Pause, pause. Pause. I know it wasn't the same. No, but today's the same. Yes, I longed for today after yesterday. <laughs> it's good to see you. <laughs> I belong. Ebon of Green go. Gables. <laughs> Ebon of Green Gables. There you go. It's a bit, it sounds like a, one of those, I don't know, soap operas or something. But anyway. Hey, look, you know, I'm, the world does turn. <laughs> I'll give you that. It does turn. So, so are the days of our That's lives. exactly what I was just thinking. Of. Here we oh, well. go. This is going from the sublime <laughs> to the ridiculous. Yes. Here we go. <laughs> Good. We landed at ridiculous. So now we can get going. Now we can, now going. We can launch. Yeah, yeah. Ready to launch. Prepare to launch. There's a lot of people out there going, I love oh. that show. Oh, yeah, yeah, no yeah. idea what it's about, but I love it. Yes. <laughs> I got an idea. It's a, here's my idea. It's a, it's a show about nothing. Oh, I think that may have been oh, done before. Been done. <laughs> yes. <laughs> and see, in Newcastle, I used to have the Seinfeld oh, theme loaded up already in my equipment. Really? Yes. No way. Oh, yes. So when they're ridiculous, I'd fire it off. Boom, 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 boom. I can see Evan being Kramer. I'm just, oh, gonna, I'm just laying that out man. there. <laughs> oh. Yes. I like yes. Kramer. You can see it? Yes, yeah, I Kramer. can see it. I hate that I show. I'm sorry. <laughs> you called it. I did. That's yeah. right. I'm <laughs> Great. Yes, yes. Oh, there you go. I suppose oh. that leaves George or Newman. I'm not sure. Yeah, yeah. Um, Hello, anyway. Newman. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, Jerry. <laughs> People are like, oh, it was a Christian happened? show. Yes. What has happened? Oh, God wow. gave us a sense of humor wow. and we're using it. <laughs> we're not at all influenced by popular culture. Not no, at all. Not, not, at all. not at all. Not at all. But it is new expressions. We do brag solidly on King Jesus when we circle back to it and we get do. onto that and his kingdom. We spend an hour together just talking about all things kingdom related and uh, hearing from senior leaders in the body of Christ what is in their heart, what they sense God is up to, what he's saying, doing, moving in amongst in the, the region. And uh, and so that's that's kind of what the next hour looks like, apart from some frivolity and, I don't know. <laughs> ridiculousness. Out, outrageous ridiculousness. Uh, Pastor Craig Corkle, who is with us, um, well, kind of, you know, from up the road, but also from New South Wales Baptist headquarters. Um, yep. Love having you in. Um, Always great, mate. No stranger to our program and uh, dear, dear friend of mine. And I am so grateful because you kind of got me out of a bit of a spot last night. I was I was in a bit of a spot. <clears throat> I, had this, I had this idea for a program and a uh, person that was kind of about to roll on in this morning is all of a sudden not rolling in this morning and I'm... In a phenomenal night with you, oh, and go um, just amazing night. Clear your schedule, mate. Yep. I need you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, sir. <laughs> Coming soon. Uh, I think no, I've, I've, think I've become be one of those friends. No, it's not, like, not oh, at all. No, it's actually quite the opposite. When you mentioned to me, "Hey, any chance you could come along this morning?" I thought I'll, I will do whatever I can to yeah. help my friend and uh, my brother. This so. is this is beautiful friendship. Isn't it is. It? It I, is. Like I so know that sense. Yeah. It's so like um, I was with my mate Greg, uh, you know Greg. Yeah, no, Greg, uh, he's awesome. Yeah, yeah, in Sydney the last couple of days, and mm. and he was talking about in his pastor's network, he said, oh, if Pastor Stu asked me for something, yeah. I'd walk across broken Hot glass yeah, for him. Yeah, you know? like, exactly. I go, that's, that's actually what mm. we're moving into in these days, totally. isn't it? Totally, yep. Oh, yep. my, my. So, no, it's a privilege to be here to to hang out with you uh, and Eben and, uh, and the listeners today. It's awesome. So a lot of people will know your voice because you're familiar uh, mm-hmm. in the program here, but also been pastoring on the Central Coast for a truckload of years. Yep. Just up the road from here, you you yes. were the driver at... Uh, at Narara Valley Baptist for 19 years, yeah. Woo. Yeah. And uh, my wife and I are back there these days. Wow. Um, so had a chat to their senior pastor, Travis, who's a, he's a great guy. And uh, said to Trav, hey, would it be possible for Carolyn and I to, to kind of reconnect um, and that sort of stuff? And he said, oh, 100%, that'd be great. And I said, how about we have a chat to the elders, just so there's a broader discernment? And I said I said to him, if I go rogue, it's probably good <laughs> if there's a broader discernment. Not that I'm planning on going rogue just quietly. Yeah, but uh, yeah, yeah, so we did that. And uh, elders said, yeah, come on back. That'd be great. So, yeah, I, I served 
with air and I'm on the AV team from time to time. Oh, get and, out. and for the first time in about 25 years, I was playing keys in church. And what? Uh, yeah, well, we yeah. had Trav here, what, three weeks ago? Yep. He's yep. awesome. He didn't mention you at all. Yeah, I know. Oh, right? I know. come on. He yeah. didn't mention that at all. <laughs> Oh. So it's only been a once, um, but yeah, I've played keys and Trav gets me to preach from time to time, and yeah, yeah, cool, yeah, cool, so it's cool. great. So, so like you've been dad in that place for years and years, mm. and then the Lord taps you on the shoulder because I was mm. in mm. process with you in that yeah, time, yeah. you know, and uh, and there's a sense in which actually you you've got to what's in you is is disciple making and the, mm. and and the building of cultures of disciple making <laughs> spaces yep. Yep. and 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 much more than that as well i'm obviously very prophetic as well and 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 graced heavily in teaching as well and so like there's lots to you but it was like the lord was just saying um the influence in the local church that season you you need to mm. you know Yep. Hug and kiss that one, but let, yep. it, go let it go because right. because it's it's now state, regional, yeah. national yeah. sort of a profile. So New South Wales ACT BAPS. Yeah, that's right. That's right. It, I mean, it's in, it's interesting you, you flag that season. That was a particularly difficult season. Be, yeah. I, I must admit, in my own fallenness, I was quite um, antagonistic toward the plans of God. If I'm really honest, because sure, I sure. was thoroughly enjoying what I was doing. Yeah, um, Narara's a great church. Continues to be. And uh, having a ball, they're seeing God do some great stuff. Had planted a couple of churches. God, God was doing awesome things, and yet I'm sensing Him calling me out yeah. you know, to the next assignment. And I'm yeah. going, "Oh Lord, but really, like this is this? We're having fun here. Yeah. Um, yep. This is yep. good." Um, yes. But uh, yeah, and after talking about that with some people and trying to be attentive to God's voice and obedient to that and discerning. Um, yeah, and then this role presented itself within the Baptist Association, and uh, mm. I sense, yeah, I sense God, God saying, I, "I want you to, you know, throw your hat in the ring for that, and and step into this next chapter that I've got for you." Yeah. So, uh, what you're saying is, in one's life, rain must fall, something like that. <laughs> yes, <laughs> yes, something I, like I, that. I, I'm pretty sure a lot of us have been there. Yeah, and yeah. yes, hang on, I'm comfortable here. This is nice. Yeah. I was, I was kind of real comfortable. <laughs> yes. Um, and when I say comfortable, well, not no, just kicking you're, back. You're in a sweet spot. Yeah. Sweet spot. Yeah. 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 It was. It kingdom. was moving forward. Yeah. Uh, which was cool. But God, I sensed the Lord saying to me, "No, I've got a new assignment for you, and I want you to be obedient and to step yeah. into that." And when I submitted myself after wrestling with Him for quite some time. Um, yeah, I, I I submitted myself and said, "All right, Lord, uh, I'll go where you want me to go," mm-hmm. and um, yeah, and then made the transition into my current role, which sees me, you know, like the Leyland brothers. Remember, the Leyland brothers Ooh, travel all over the yeah. countryside. Yes. Uh, it's a bit like that sometimes. <laughs> Um, moving around ACT, New South Wales, and trying to mm. help churches to get discipleship as normative and kind of a core part of their culture <clears throat> and to develop leaders. Um, yeah, we've got a goal of a thousand healthy churches in a generation, mm. um, and we're heading toward that at the moment yeah. of, of church planting and that. But to do that, we're going to need probably 1,500 to 2,000 healthy pastors. Yeah, um, right. And leadership teams that are part of that as well. Yeah, man. Which Amen. is kind of huge. Mm. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. Key point there is for me, you said yes. Yeah. And you went. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah. I, I, I feel for people who don't. Mm, mm. Um, you know, fear of the unknown, or I am too comfortable, or no, I just don't want to do it. I don't know what you want to call yeah, it, but, yeah. you know, on the other side of that, yes. Is really what you need. You just yeah. don't know it yet. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know? And loving, loving what I'm doing. Yes. Absolutely loving it and yeah. feeling and, and seeing very overt mm. signs of God's favor, blessing that He's mm. going ahead of me, that He's preparing the way, that He's drawing oh, yeah. people a, around who I can partner <clears throat> with, who can yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, be Let me jump in then. Yeah. Let me jump Go in then because that scenario is so familiar to me. Personally, mm-hmm. yes, and you would. Yeah, God is yeah. moving in that space, and you just, you know, every day can be a surprise. In that, there's kingdom advancement. Yep. There's the newness and the dynamism of the Spirit of God. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You know, growing. It's it's healthy yep. and yeah, growing. Yeah. All the indicators are everything is really good here. So mm. why would you mess with it, right? <laughs> And and I, I, that was Dan and I, my wife and I, when mm. we were at Macquarie Park yeah, sure. in a big government housing estate where yeah. where the, the story over that government housing estate was this is where all of the criminal activity is in our city. Yep. yep. All of the 
domestic violence, all of the mm-hmm. gang-related activity, mm-hmm. the drug houses, everything was going on in that community. And we served in there, brought the church in. The church just loved crazy, and we saw incredible transformation. We planted a church yep. in that place. We had, we, we would set up marquees every Sunday in a park in the middle of a government housing estate. <laughs> had 200 people worshipping with us every wow, week, right? We, so good. Setting up the plasma screen TVs in the park, right? I mean, yeah. it was a logistics nightmare, um, but it, it just worked. Yeah. <coughs> and yep. and and at the the last the last three consecutive crime data reporting periods in that community, there was zero crime. Yeah. Wow. Right? Wow. God had done such a transforming work. The mayor of the city had come to faith, and he was <laughs> sitting in the front row of this. Circus yeah, called yeah. church in the middle of a housing estate <laughs> every week. He was being discipled in that space, yep, yep. you know. Beautiful. It was just a phenomenon. And the last thing on my mind yep. was I should go do something else. Sure. Right? Sure. And it was our denominational leader who I know to be a man filled with the spirit who yeah. who has a very great prophetic grace and and he sort of tapped us on the shoulder and said, I, I, I feel in God to ask you, you know, would yeah. you consider? Wow. And, uh, and, and the immediate response is no. <laughs> <laughs> because all of this 100%, yep. is fruitful. It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's awesome. extravagant fruitfulness mm-hmm. and goodness. Mm. And you can't tinker with something that's not broke. Yeah, that's right. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know? Yep. And I reckon that's a picture of, of mm. NVBC. Like, yeah. I think that was what you guys were in. Mm. Mm-hmm. And so why would you tinker with it? So how, uh, how yeah. did that come to you? Like, was that a tap on the shoulder? Was that a – or yeah. was it just the spirit speaking? Or was it – how? was it a combo? What, how did that – Yeah, that's a great question, mate. Um, for me, there was uh, a definite, like, tap on the shoulder from the spirit. Um, yeah. And mm. I'd, I'd sensed that before in a similar way that moved me to the Central Coast. Um, yeah, yeah, Kind of, yeah. you know, 19 years prior to that. Um, yeah. So there was, there was definitely the tap on the shoulder. I wanted to make sure that – it wasn't just me. So I had some godly people around me, oh, yeah. you know, yourself, yeah. um, you know, the elders of our church at Narara, really yeah. godly people who yeah. I trusted. So so they're godly. I trust them. They know me. They're for me. Yeah. Um, and, you know, they're discerning people. And so I b- brought some people into that sphere of kind of um, discernment. Yeah. Uh, and we, we went to discerning and, and that sort of thing. Um, obviously, my wife in the midst of that as well, because Carolyn, yes. at the same time as being my wife, is also the children family she's on team yeah. she's on team absolutely and so this you know and to be honest the um the elders of the church when we were getting close to that discernment of yeah okay it's time to to do this thing to pull the trigger they were saying oh carolyn if you still want to stick around and be the children families pastor you do that because yeah, like, like right. we love you and you're awesome yeah, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she is craig craig we can do without yeah, yeah. <laughs> but, that's yeah. it that's yeah. it right <laughs> I think, gosh, you could find it a bit harder for me. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, yeah, oh, it's true because, yeah, it's funny because it's true. No, 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 no. But, um, yeah, it's, uh, but so there was a discernment for Carolyn as yeah. well. Yeah, for sure. Um, yeah. And so, actually, only just yesterday, she's kicked off as a school counselor at Greenpoint Christian College. Oh, wow. Uh, yeah, yeah, Brilliant. yeah. yeah. Brilliant. So she's been doing private practice and going to continue to do that. But, yeah, she's over at Greenpoint doing, because um, she's got a master's in counseling. She's a yeah. bright lady. yeah, yeah. And a gift to the uh, church. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah massively yeah. so. But yeah, so to go back to your original question, mate, there was a, there was there was definitely um, a tap on the shoulder from the Holy Spirit. Mm. Um, there was a discernment group. There was my professional supervisor Neil, who's just an incredibly godly godly man. Um, yeah. Did did the denomination talk to you? Like, did they were they saying, "Hey, we've got an idea that we think"? I I'd had some conversations. Yeah. Um, with some uh, there was there was a general sense, actually more than a general, a quite a specific sense within the Baptist Association that we need to get sharper around disciple making and leadership development. Um, so I, in addition to being the, the go to, well, yeah, <laughs> in addition to being the pastor at Narara, yeah. I was also the regional minister Central Coast That's for right. for yeah. our Baptist kind of crew. And I was sitting in a meeting with all of the other regional ministers and our director of ministries, um, Steve Bartlett, who you know. Yep. Um, and I said to the I said to the crew, "What's the um, what's the biggest roadblock to us seeing this goal of a thousand healthy churches uh, by in a generation, which is by 2050?" Yeah. And straight away, without blinking, Steve said, "Leader development. Unless we're going to do, unless we can 
effectively develop leaders, there is no way we're going to hit a thousand healthy churches. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> and and there was just so, there's something in me that kind of leaps at that uh, yeah. around you know because if you if you can't you know make mm. disciples, you're not going to make leaders. Yeah. Um, yeah. If you can't make leaders, you're not going to plant churches. Mm. If you can't plant churches, you're not going to you know see movements happen. Sure, sure. Mm. That's a yeah. cluey bloke who yeah. walks with Jesus mm. intimately. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You pay attention when he's yeah. he's yeah. got an idea. Yeah. Yeah yeah, 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 yeah. Can I go back to what you did there too? Because I know there's sure. a lot of pastors out there, a lot of young pastors that will come to this stage yep. to where they feel like they're being moved on, mm. but they also feel like this is home I built this. I don't want to go. Mm-hmm. You know. Uh, you didn't say no, but you actually felt to talk to a few trusted people yep. and get their prayer. Like, you should mm-hmm. always do that when it comes to those big moments in life, oh, those yeah. life-changing things. And not just 25, <laughs> a few. <laughs> yeah. You should have a few. Yeah. And that's the mistake I find out. You go asking everybody. You're gonna uh, get, nah. you, No, no. It, it's nah, got to nah. be those people you trust. That's right. And you, you'll you develop those relationships, and you should know by now when you get to that point, yeah. who dies. Well, that's right. Yes. Exactly. As I said, they are godly people. They're mm. discerning people. And they're people that love me and are for me. Yes. Um, they've got my best at heart. Um, and, yeah, they, they know me well. Mm. They know yes. mm. what graces God has gifted me with. Um, they know yeah. my, my weak spots as well, yeah. you know, my frailties, Achilles heels, that mm. sort of stuff. They know all that sort of stuff. And yet they're able to take it to the Lord and say, okay, Lord, what, what are you doing in the midst of this thing? Um, yeah. Amen. Yeah. yeah. No. So it was quite the journey. But loving, loving where I'm at now and loving seeing the fruit starting to come of that, that's mm. fun. Yes. Um, Amen. And I, you know, I, for a while now, I've, I, one of the ways that I describe ministry is fun. Now, it's not always fun. Sometimes it's jolly hard work and a lot of time. <laughs> but when you get really good people around you, um, who you love and you love doing life with. So even when I was at Narara, when we go through challenging times, I had there were mm. people there, and I go, man, yeah. I get to serve with just this awesome group of people who I love. Mm. We have fun together. We laugh. We carry on like geese sometimes. Mm. Um, and we do, and and it's the same. It's a very similar dynamic with the Baptist Association. Yeah. Great people there. Um, we we get up to, we get up to some crazy antics and and stuff. Um, and that's that's just a hoot. And we see God at work. It's so much fun. That is yeah. brilliant. I mean, it's if it stops being fun, back up the horses and That's figure right. out where you left Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> I've, I've used that quote many times. <laughs> we'll be back after this break, folks. And that's exactly what we were talking about beforehand, mm. you know, finding a place in this world, but knowing when the mood's another place. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it can be difficult. It can be challenging. It can be scary. But, you know, uh, it's, it's, it's fruit on the other side of that. Yes. Oh, yeah. 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 You just you just can't be afraid to say yes. Mm-hmm. It is new expressions that you're listening to. Amen. Because it's Friday morning. We've got uh, Pastor Craig Corkle from... Well, Baptist world in New South Wales, ACH. I probably, well, you, you're you credentialed pastor, so I can yeah. still call you pastor, even if yeah. you're not sure. the pastor of the local church, but you are. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Um, and well, I'm a pastor in the church on the Central Coast. That's right, because mm. there's only there's an, there's one, one church on the church Central Coast. <laughs> and the right. New South Wales. <laughs> <clears throat> hey, yeah. did you enjoy yourself last night? Oh, mate, come on. I had a ball last night. And what I, happened last night? Do you, do, do you want to <laughs> fill him in on, on what <laughs> yeah, last night yeah, was? Yeah. Well, you and me like, sure, sure. let's make him envious <laughs> okay and hungry and hungry do i need to yeah. cut to a commercial break <laughs> yeah, i think so Just i think so okay. our good friends at killed crew they hosted a big feast oh. for one well it was actually to celebrate the mariners it was. You know? yeah because yeah. the central coast has a consecutive a league winning yes, oh, yeah. national team i was there at the grand final because uh, i'm a what? member of the mariners yeah i'm a member of the mariners get out of yeah, town and so i got how come i wasn't your plus well, one because well because my son and daughter-in-law were my plus ones and twos <laughs> and so Imagine we're there this. screaming oh, our lungs out, oh my uh, at my. that grand final it was just <laughs> amazing we didn't run onto the field like thousands like, of others how did. did i think you might have actually <laughs> i would, think I'm, let's rewind the footage yeah. <laughs> is that is that Pastor Craig that's, that there. Looks like him right yeah, there. that's him right in the middle of in the, the high vis jacket. Thing that's was, him. You go to some grounds and they, you know, they're very antsy about people coming onto yeah. the ground. But on the central coast, because of the way we roll here, all these people run out. But then it comes over the loudspeaker system. Oh, you know, it'd be great if you could move back. And they go, oh yeah, all right. <laughs> <laughs> 
these people yeah. at all. Yeah, yeah okay, pro- whatever. Probably, probably shouldn't have done <laughs> yeah, that. Probably should. All right, okay. All right. We'll go. We'll yeah, go. Yeah, yeah. No it's worries. just hilarious to watch. Yeah. yeah, I watched it. I mean, everyone on the coast oh, watched course. it. I'm sure. I have yeah. no choice. My boy's a soccer nut. Yeah, so. yeah, yeah, yeah. Every TV was on that. Even the ones we weren't. Even the rooms we weren't in. <laughs> soccer was on. Just in case you wandered in there, it was on that TV. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. It was spectacular. And I'm watching it, and I, I see the crowd start pouring yeah. onto the field. I, yeah, I've gone. Dan, Dan, watch this. Look at this. <laughs> like, cause she wasn't really there. Sure, she was. Sure. She was kind of in the kitchen, sort yeah. of. This does not happen yeah. anywhere. Like yeah. our grounds, like I know. you don't get on you don't the ground. Do that. You don't right? do that. No. Oh, what are they going to do with ten thousand people <laughs> on the ground? You but know? then the ten thousand people go. Oh yeah, okay. We've had our time. But we'll go back to the stand. Yeah, and, that was cool. You know, get on the presentations. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But we were there last night to celebrate. Yes, the the Mariners because Mariners are awesome. But yeah. as pastors and leaders on the coast, yeah. to be able to to listen to Slim, who's the um, the chaplain uh, at the Mariners, good guy, and yeah. to celebrate together and just be with one another. I think there's something powerful when we are with one another. And interestingly, particularly over food. If you look at yes. so much of the ministry of Jesus, 100%. it's over food. Always, uh, it's incredible. So much of his stuff is over I'm, food. I'm very proud about that. Give yeah. us your line about a deal and food. And oh yeah, <laughs> whenever there's, whenever there's, whenever there's whenever, wherever there's food and wine, yep. a deal is about to be broken. <laughs> <laughs> I reckon Seriously. I heard you Seriously. say this. Yes. Yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. It's yeah. like when you walk into a room with the mob with this plastic sheet on the floor. Yeah. Somebody's gone. <laughs> Okay, that just got dark. Yeah. <laughs> I did not see that coming. No, did I. But yeah, but to be able to, to be there last night with all of those pastors and yeah. leaders to hear from Slim. Um, oh, who is uh, just a champion. So he's pa- a Pastor Paul McCulloch mm. has yeah, been yeah. like the local campus pastor at Gosford, hope you see. Now he's in their eldership yep. group. And yep. Great guy. Good, good friend of ours. And, and, and the Lord's just opened a door for him to function as chaplain yep. in, in the Mariners team. And we heard, like, his very wise stewardship of that yep. gift. Very humble. Oh, mm. yeah, 100%. Very mm. humble stewardship of that gift. He, that this got. is a guy who could name drop left, right, and center. Oh, 100%. Right? Yep. Like, just totally. none yep. of that, none of that. Just yep. simply going about, you know, being mm. Mm. salt and light yep. in a, yeah. a football club. It reminded me, um, when it, when I was listening to him, yeah. my heart, well, I, I, I said to you earlier um, before the show, I came away last night with a really full heart. Yeah. Um, hearing, and? Uh, oh, and a really full stomach. <laughs> 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 Which, the two but may be interrelated. Me too. Yeah. <laughs> but uh, but I, I, it, it took me back to oh, 25 years ago now when I was a, uh, a chaplain in the Australian Army. Oh, um, wow. And I, I had an absolute ball with the soldiers. Yeah. Uh, and we'd go bush yeah. um, and deploy. We deployed overseas on a joint exercise with the Papua New Guinea Defence wow. Force. Um, and just being wow. able to do life in really close proximity to people who the vast majority of them don't know Jesus. Yeah. yeah. Um, and to, uh, yeah, just what God does. I remember vividly being out bush one night yeah. uh, and the, the the OC officer commanding of my unit said to me, oh, Padre, which is what they call you, yeah. either that or God botherer. <laughs> um, <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's what they call you. You're, you're the God botherer. You know but, how um, warm they are with yeah, you. Yeah, 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 yeah. But anyway, he said to me, oh, Padre, can you can you run a, a service for us? Wow. And I'm thinking, yeah, sure. So we had a fire lit up. Had, and it was a volunteer, you know, you didn't have to come. Um, we had all these soldiers gathered around the fire. I'm thinking, uh, in a, and he'd only, I think, I and asked where were you? Oh, we were up in the back blocks of the Northern Territory somewhere on wow. deployment. Yeah, yeah. And so we're in so the middle of nowhere. Remote. We're middle yeah. of nowhere. Um, and so light at the fire, and I'm thinking, Lord, what do you want me to do? And this might sound really crazy, but it worked. Have, I don't know if you've ever read the children's book, You Are Special, yeah, by Max Licato. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, I, I, I had that book with me, and I read them the book. Wow. Because uh, most of these guys have zero yeah. background with, with Jesus wow. and that sort of stuff. And I started there. And just the conversations that ensue out of, out of that, and, and guys and girls are starting to hear that they are loved yeah. uh, and it's not about what they've done it's about who they are wow uh, as you know made in the image of god and that and um but there were so many opportunities um over the course of those years that i served with the adf Australian defense forces um mm. and then i was hearing slim last night 
and I go, oh, wow. You yeah, like it, it's a different context. In this one, sure. it's, it's an elite sporting context. In my one, it was, you know, a military um, sort of a context. Which <coughs> is elite. Oh, yeah. Because you do that well yeah. or you die. Oh, yeah, you know yeah, what yeah. I mean? Like it, it, yeah. That's a whole During the another... 2000 Olympics, we were at the unit I was working with was also doing some work with the SAS. Okay. Who, who are, they are the elite. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. They are, yeah, yeah they're, yep. they're off the charts, those guys. Um, but yeah, the um, the the unit. I, most of the time, I was with um, an engineering unit, yeah, right. and they are they're smart people, yeah. um, but they're people <clears throat> as well, and they and those yes. people go through challenging yeah. times. When we deploy, um, it was often for oh, five months, six months at a time, and so that's got massive wow. implications for families. Wow, it does. Uh, yeah, you know, they're not seeing dad or mum for five mm. to six months, and that's actually why they brought me in as a chaplain. They said we've got a, a divorce rate that's going through the ceiling. Yeah. Yeah, moment gee. we need we need some help in that area but yeah as i said i was listening to to slim last night and just going oh wow well, I'm, I'm excited about what god's doing yeah. through him in that context yeah um and just cheering him on going and i i tried to get i tried to get to be able to say that to him last night after his talk yeah. but it, there was like a queue of people <laughs> <laughs> wanting to have a yarn uh, yeah. uh, um, which was totally fine I'll, i might have an offline conversation with him but um yeah i, I just came away so encouraged but encouraged by what god's doing there but encouraged as well just by the conversations around tables yeah. and the you were talking about at one point you said something around uh, relational glory and yes. there, there is something that happens when God's people prefer one another when they cheer one another on yep. they love on one another and you know it's like the scriptures talk about you know with this unity God commands a blessing yeah. and I came exactly. away literally as I was driving home going wow I feel blessed yeah I feel blessed just for being in the room last night extraordinary yeah. isn't it <clears throat> extraordinary it's awesome just extraordinary yeah. our friend yours and mine our good friend Pastor Kim Jones at Liberty she yep. she released that word of relational yep. glory that, yeah, yeah yeah it wasn't in our vocabulary I know. it was not yeah it is now <laughs> and, and I tell you what I'll say it as often as I can because mm. I just think that it it expresses uh, oneness yep. and the glory of God on people yeah. like there's no yeah, other way of describing right. it. Yeah, and yeah. we last night for me was brilliant. Yes, we showcased the chaplaincy into the Mariners and yeah. that was a closed door. We heard that, didn't yeah, we? Yeah, like yeah. Like there was a no no chaplains welcome here for yep. quite some time. And then just I think the, the God in his goodness mm. and, and the right people at the right time and there was a trust that was built mm-hmm. and as you say, um, Slim, who's who's stewarded that trust beautifully, and we love him and thank God for what he's doing in that space. <clears throat> um, he brought the A League. <laughs> Did he bring the, a trophy? The tro- Did he bring it? I got a photo with the, it. Don't worry. Nice. What is it? Four foot five. <laughs> yeah, it's, I mean, it's, it's, it's a decent size trophy. Nice. Yeah. Real d- the yeah the trophy A League trophy. <laughs> and that little sign say, "Please do not touch." <laughs> He brought it. Uh, it That's great. a selfie right there, baby. Yeah, oh, I got oh, the selfie. I, oh, yes. I got one. Yeah, yeah for sure. Oh, yeah. I sent it to my kids. <laughs> Yeah. Oh, if I get anywhere near an NBA champion or even an NBA yeah. championship ring, my yeah, face yeah, is yeah, yeah, right yeah, here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> yes. yes. You get no. it. You get Ooh, it. 100%. No, I get it. So totally. That, that mm. was nuts. And, and there's like, you know what? There is actually a tension on the central coast of New mm. South Wales. And I, mm. and I think for many years, maybe it was kind of – not ignored, but just it wasn't a thing. Like yeah. it wasn't like you know, there's Sydney, there's Newcastle, there's yeah. the major cities, yeah. there's yeah. regional major cities, but Central Coast, and and it's like no, 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 like like God in many ways mm. is going, hey, pay attention, something's mm-hmm. happening something's here, something's happening here, that's right, and something really good is happening yep. here. Yeah. Totally, totally, yeah, yeah. I think we had for the first time in the room last night, <clears throat> we'd done. We did, uh, the invite was to pastors and their leader teams, their leadership teams, the the guys who lead yep. with them. And it was like the next layer. Because yeah. you and I have yeah. done pastors We've together, been. right? Yep, quite We've done it yep. in, in different forms around lunches, around yep. breakfasts, Breakfast, around yeah. events, around other things. We've done that. And, and I think we're getting better at that, oh, aren't yeah. we? You know, I mean, I the agree. hearts given to one another yep. is definitely there's traction all yeah, over that now. Totally. Um, and we've done the bigger things of the whole church all together. Yeah. Yep. But we've not really done yeah. hey pastors and leaders bring, bring your, your, your yeah. teams, right? <laughs> yep. 
and I was like watching the dynamic of that, mm, you know, mm. of of you know the saints from one church expression over here with another expression, mm. all just kind of connecting and chatting and spouses too. I don't know if yes. you noticed that it was yeah pastors teams and but there were spouses as well. So even yeah. just walking in, I was catching up with one of the yeah. pastors and their spouse um, just on the way in. And I thought that as well. I think is honouring for starters because yes. uh, oftentimes spouses. Uh, the silent partner, right. depending on which you know tribe you're from, yeah. um, but can often be the silent partner. But for spouses to be honoured and esteemed, yeah. and for them to to see what we've seen as well in terms of this oneness journey, I think that there's something special to that. Yeah, um, yeah. I agree. <laughs> and and I had the great privilege, Evan, of saying to the room, "Isn't mm. it wonderful that your church has the yeah. chaplain in the marriage?" That's right. Yeah, yeah. One church. And everyone was looking at each other, going. In my church. <laughs> like, no, I knew exactly what you're talking about. <laughs> you know, you know, and, and I think we all did a collective. Yeah, that's mm. right. That's right. That's exactly right. Because yeah. the body of Christ is not fragmented or broken; mm. it is one body. It's, it's one body. Mm. And yep. if there's an expression that looks mm. like chaplaincy into the Mariners, well, praise God, that's praise part God. of my body. That's you right. Know, that's amen, exactly amen. part of my church. I'll tell you what yeah. I'm enjoying. I don't know if you guys notice it, is that all the Christian athletes that are just making themselves known, mm. they're, just, they're just, you know, yeah, out there praising. Yeah, yeah, they're mm. just out there. I don't care who's watching, who's mm. doing what. And thank you, Lord. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's, just, it's just popping up everywhere. Mm. Mm. I, I'm, I'm happy to see that because they can change the mind of a young individual who otherwise wouldn't think about it, but that's their sporting idol. Yeah. Wait a minute, hang on, hang mm. on. Mm. Well, but, that's your lane. Like, you've done professional yeah. sports and mm. been a believer in that space. Yeah. And you know that. Yeah, I know the power so, of it, yes. Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. To my senior year, you don't, you don't, in child development, you don't do a, a, a thesis. Yeah. You go out and you work in the field. Yeah. And I was blessed to be near one of the bigger organizations that I actually didn't know existed, uh, CA, Creative Alternatives. Mm-hmm. And they were in the Bay Area, and I was in the... Uh, the hills of California, the, okay. the, the, the middle, the, the, just the center of it, yep. um, just half hour down from Sacramento. And what they do is that they look for athletes who are journeying in this course. They bring them in and they just bring them in and meet the children and they see who takes to you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And, you know, and they on purpose, you know, create a bump in situation. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. when's your next home game? that you're likely to demolish somebody <laughs> and they bring the child there as a, as a group trip, a couple yeah, of them. Yeah. Sure. And they let him see. And then they arrange for you guys to bump in afterwards. Okay. You know, you've done the interviews, you've signed the autographs, and you bump in the hallway. Yes. And then that's the connection. Yeah, nice. great. And then at that point, they pair you with that child. Yeah. Okay. And it, it works. Yeah. My first, my mentoring first, type. Yes. Of, yeah, 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 my first kid was Stanley. Oh, wow. And he was from, his parents were crack addicts. Wow. wow. And um, they pulled him out yeah. to bring him here to put structure around him. That's number sure. one for them, structure. Mm-hmm. And then they try to get a father figure in their life. Mm-hmm. That ended up being me. Kid wouldn't cut his hair. But because I was a baller and had no hair, oh, let me cut my hair like yours. Sure. <laughs> <laughs> I've heard horror stories about them trying to cut his hair. Wow. Pinning him in the bathroom, trying to hold him down, trying to cut his hair. And they can't do that, but they yeah. were trying to. He wouldn't let them. And yeah. it was a matted mess. Yeah, wow. <laughs> let me cut my eye like yours. Sure. Yeah, Boom. Wow. There's things like that. You yeah. break, there, there's no glass ceiling anymore. Yeah. Do you know Michael Jordan? Sure. <laughs> so, you know what I mean? It's just, yeah. so I know the power of that. Yeah. So to see them doing that, yeah. um, they can reach a kid who otherwise wouldn't look at Christ and bam. Yeah. There that guy is. Yep. You know, so good. Ah, I, I just love it. I love seeing it. Yeah, I, I love seeing you. it. Yeah, I do. I love Slim too. Yeah. Great sense of humor, Slim Champion. too, as well too. Ah, all right. Let's get out here and get some music, and then we'll come back and we'll finish up with uh, our very special guest, guest Greg Corkill. Just keep listening to Sound us because we are us getting to talked over. <laughs> <laughs> yes, <laughs> that's what uh, happens when not exactly uh, sure when you why that came in like you. that. But we're good. Doesn't matter. Doesn't matter. I, I get interrupted all the time. It's like, but hello. What? I was talking. Sorry, what? I, I was talking. <laughs> <laughs> hello. It's all right. <laughs> it is new expressions, as you can tell, because it's completely insane, but we're having a great time. Yes. And uh, God is good and enjoying the goodness of God, and it is meant to be fun. And I was thinking, actually, we went to a break earlier in the program, and uh, and you were describing Pastor Craig Cook, our guest here from Baptist Association in New South Wales, ACT. 
uh, and local guy, <laughs> local, go- all, all local around, dude, <laughs> all around good guy from the Central Coast, cable man. That's it. <laughs> <laughs> maybe what? not. Maybe not. You've been very random today, Abel. Yes, I yeah, just have very to say. pop culture random too. <laughs> I could have said owner of a flower shop. <laughs> well, there we go. Back up the horses again yes, and go yes, to. Yes. Oh yeah, you were saying how at the time when you were pastoring at Narara Valley Baptist Church, and there was mm. just a dream sort of flow of everything going. Mm-hmm. You know, things were flourishing. There was health in the place. You're planning. You were, you know, extending your tent pegs, and mm. and there was stretch and growth and all of that, which is. Uh, it's a fun season and it's and it's growth so there's always mm, growing pains mm. as well yep um and uh, you know you can have it's like you don't want to be doing anything else mm. right like the, i could do this for the rest of my life mm. and you feel that way even in the painful stuff cuz we're not ignorant really to to think that painful stuff doesn't happen oh it right? certainly happens yeah. we're on this earth yep. and and you're going to experience pain yep and and you're going to potentially experience real hardship, mm. and and when you do that in community with those who you know, love, serve, celebrate, yep, right, and vice versa, in that context, you can do it the rest of your days, and mm. you want to, mm-hmm. you know, I mean, you don't want to stay in hardship the whole sure. of your days, sure, but you even in hardship, you can do it the rest of your days in the company of yeah. rich kingdom community around yeah. you. Yeah, yeah, that's right. And particularly when, like, when you've been there a while, and there's a relational investment, um, yeah, yeah, and yeah, yeah, and 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 in the truer sense of the word, this group of people becomes family. Yeah, um, yeah, yeah. So it it makes it change. Yeah, because the father is building a family, and he, he will have his family to himself. Yep. Um, mm-hmm. And so just get on board with it. Yeah. <laughs> you know? and, and last night we were celebrating at Q and Crew. They had a, a big focus on um, the Mariners' chaplaincy um, and particularly Pastor Paul McCulloch, who is the chaplain to the Mariners, and talking about that kind of ministry. The one church on the Central Coast could celebrate mm. that we have a chaplain, but we were, I mean, I, at some point I made the comment that actually our family just got bigger. Have a look around. Mm. We're all family, yep. right? Because he's yep. building and weaving mm. and growing sons and daughters. That's right. Uh, you know, not employees, not slaves, mm-hmm. not, mm-hmm. you know, he's actually just after sons and daughters. Yep. And uh, and so beautiful to recognize the sonship of, of the kingdom upon each other. Yeah. Very special times. Um, mm. I want to. I want to sort of shift course. Mm-hmm. Um, you and I have got a new friend, um, girl called Tanya Harris. Yeah, girl, a lady, a, a phenomenal doctor. Dr. Yeah, Tanya yeah, yeah, Harris. a phenomenal <laughs> kingdom megastar. Mm, mm. <laughs> really, um, who who's actually on Rima, isn't she? Like Guy we have conversations. The, yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So mm. it's part. She has her segments on Rima oh, and nice. all over the country. Mm. And uh, and quite a remarkable person who decided it'd be a great idea to do a PhD in in hearing God's voice. Yeah, I uh, and and thank you. You actually introduced Tanya and I together. I remember we sat down in my office down at Macquarie Park. There, yeah, and uh, and it's the first time I've ever heard of anyone. And to my knowledge, this is true not just nationally but potentially globally of anyone doing like PhD, which is intense sort of stuff. Yeah. Doing a PhD dissertation on being attentive to the voice of God, um, and uh, Tanya very graciously has emailed me her her PhD dissertation. I started to go through that because I'm I'm doing a, a doctorate of ministry at the moment. Say, you, you should. <clears throat> You know, email her yours. Oh, I've finished mine yet. Mine has mine has not been finished oh, nor right. approved. So she's right. far ahead of me. <laughs> right, right. I'm, I'm still just a regular pleb. Um, right. But um, <laughs> but I thought oh, I'm, I'm interested in that, and and at the, and then I I listened. I, I use Audible because I'm driving to you know to uh, yeah. from all the place. Uh, I listened to her book God conversations, which yes. I thoroughly recommend. Um, yep. And now I'm going through <clears throat> the church who hears God's voice, uh. which I think. Think from what I can see is it's like her PhD dissertation has been distilled into something that's far more accessible to regular people like me. Gotcha. Um, it's gold. 
It's Sorry, all... if you're the regular person, then I'm <laughs> bogan out in the backyard. You can't read. You know? Not at all, my friend. Not uh, at all. But oh, just gold. And just making a note of that, Craig Bogan. <laughs> <laughs> you, you've really got a note it? <laughs> <laughs> it's on my but, shirt. Mate. That's right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, but uh, yeah, I've been going through through that, and I found her book God Conversations really encouraging and enlightening. But the Church Who Hears God voice it goes to a whole other level. Okay. Um, and she actually addresses some of the challenging questions around this. Yep. So, you know, what if, what if I get it wrong? What if it's not the voice of God? Right. You know, and, and and addresses the tough stuff as well yep. um, in a, in a really considered manner. And she doesn't she doesn't set up straw men. Um, right. And uh, so I, I found that super helpful. Yeah. Um, and helps to inform and I haven't finished I haven't finished it yet I'm still part, I'm about well, I don't know a third of the way through yeah right but it's informing my approach to how I seek to be attentive to the voice of God it seems like that is something being stirred up yep I, I mean you've agree. been ministering all this week regional places sure. and whatever and yep. some of the conversations that are emerging are around this aren't they they are they are I'm finding that there's uh, emerging conversations around in, in a number of areas, there's yep. definitely around discipleship. That's uh, one, probably the biggest one I'm finding coming out of COVID. Yeah, right. um, everyone was talking about, oh, it'll be a great reset for how we do church. And often often the ways, some of the mechanisms we've done for church have kind of just gone back to that. But the focus around, oh, we need to get sharper at making disciples and leaders. But, yeah, this area of being attentive to God's voice, um, healing. Yeah, um, yeah, and, yeah, and the miraculous and oneness. I was uh, in a meeting uh, only just this week yep. uh, with a group of pastors, and I said, "Okay, uh, the the question that I led with was, what do we, what do we sense God doing at the moment?" And we're talking around discipleship and leadership development. And then one guy put up his hand and said, you know what? I really sense God doing something around unity and oneness. And I thought, whoa, okay. I'm, uh, and I, then I paused and I said, okay, we're definitely seeing that on the Central Coast. No, sure. no question. Sure. Um, but I'm seeing it at a, at, in, a, in reg, other regions nationally, but internationally as well. Yeah. So, our, our, you know, some of our friends that we, we've moved with, that you, to be honest, you've introduced me to um, around Movement Day yeah, uh, yeah, and yeah. that sort of stuff. There, there, there's something that's happening at, an, at a national, but at an international level yep. where there's greater measures of unity, which in this cultural moment cuts against the cultural grain because the culture is far more polarized at the moment. Isn't it? And yet there's this <clears throat> increasing move back there's this this sense of god speaking to his church and saying uh, I, I i want i want to i want to see the reality of my prayer for disciples lived out in this day of you know make them one um, and because that's that's Jesus' big focus in the, you know, the back end of John's gospel about the prayer that he prays uh, for believers, for disciples, that they would be one. Mm. Um, and in a era, in a cultural moment where if there is increasing polarization, I'm I'm curious around God's kind of coming back to no, 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 oneness, oneness. Mm. Yeah. I want to touch on this for a moment because mm. you just opened up something in me as you were talking, and I went, oh. You know, there's there is without doubt in the world uh, dualism is rampant. Mm, there's mm, in and out, us and them, yep. right and wrong. It's yep. and, and it. I read something this morning, Richard Raw actually, mm-hmm, who mm-hmm. says this: many of us grow rigid and opinionated as we age. We're supposed to move from the dualistic thinking of young people to the non-dual mind of experience and maturity. This is why, all things being equal, elders should be more skilled at patience, mm. forgiveness, mercy, compassion, much more than teenagers. If we remain self-assured, self-righteous, self-seeking, dualistic thinkers, we can't become bridge builders or agents of reconciliation, not even in our own homes or neighborhoods. Mm, mm. And I thought, oh, actually, there's something in the spirit of the world in this dualism stuff. Yeah. That uh, that that the opposite of is oneness that mm. can only be manifest yeah. in the people of God. In the people of God. Mm. <clears throat> yep. And so, so you where were you regionally where this guy has this moment of? Oh, this is a gathering of pastors. He's speaking out of the experience in uh, the western suburbs of Sydney. 
Okay. Yep. Yeah, yeah. Yep. So that's his context. Yep. But um, yeah, this was pastors from all around the uh, New South Wales and ACT. All oh, right. Okay. And, yeah. and I, I, I'm presuming then they all had the opportunity to wrestle yep. in. Then they're, they're on commenting that on well. that as well. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. But I just find it fascinating. Well, hmm. we, we, we spent two days, you know, yesterday and the day before, a few of us down in Sydney at the uh, yep. Movement Day, Movement day. Yeah. city to city. Yep. Uh, thing literally giving ourselves to the schooling of yep. more and more of this oneness. Again, Pastor Kim's word of relational glory. It mm, just seems mm. to be more and more prominent in this 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 dialogue. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and it is clear to me, having heard the stories all around the country, um, yeah, because Movement Day and City to City, those guys mm. do, you know, the the city catalyst stuff, yeah. and they see these oneness movements. Uh, emerging, it's evident to me that those stories are more and more prominent, and they're they're typically the faceless, nameless, yep. you know, yep. people just getting on with loving one another, abounding in love, giving hearts, preferring mm, one another, mm. all of this, and then out of that comes a, an act, a, you know, an action into the city that looks transformative. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and you know, I, I think. We had we had a, a relational leaders lunch a couple of weeks ago where there were forty pastors in mm, the room. Mm. They came together just to eat lunch. Yep, that was it. Yep, no Great. agenda. Great. And then and then you know last night you know yeah. sixty people in the room, pastors, some leadership team mm. people, all cross pollinating, yep. all yep. seeing each other. Our family so it looks like this yep. on the coast. So you know. good. So good. Uh, September ten yeah. is uh, one church Central Coast one church, prayer breakfast. Yep, yep. Yeah, that um, one. Mac- yeah. Mingara. I mean, yep. that's that's already surpassed the registrations from last year. I mean, it's yeah. this thing's. I got it real quick for that one. I thought that that would happen. So <laughs> yeah, I wanted yeah. to give a ticket real quick for that because <laughs> you're you're going. Rima's at that. We, we've, yes, we've uh, got Rima at that table nice. as well. Nice. Um, and and what we hap- what happened last year was we hosted in a venue that. That we had to cap the numbers on mm. two weeks out, the whole event's filled up. Yeah, there's, yeah. there's no tickets, right? Yep. And so uh, we had to go for a bigger venue. We're already past what we mm. had last year, obviously, but sure. um, that thing's tickets are running <laughs> out in the new ah, venue, good problem which is a great problem to have. Yeah. Um, frustrating that we're not always brilliant at getting in quickly to register. <laughs> but it, I just can't help but see these intentional spaces of us wanting to be together, yeah. wanting to understand mm. ourselves as one yeah. people of God, right. you know, uh, and to manifest this relational glory. Mm-hmm. Um, mm-hmm. It, it seems to me undeniable that that God is at work amongst mm. that. You know, oh, yeah. like that's a work of the yeah. Spirit. Yeah. I mean, yeah. Yeah. Jesus yeah. says, by this all men are going to know that you're my disciples by your yeah. love for one another. Yeah. It's it's the defining characteristic. Um, wow. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, Amen. Well, we got to end this one. So it's been we're just going to say goodbye and we're all good and ready to go. Because <laughs> I wasn't <laughs> going to interrupt that. I wasn't going to interrupt that. That great. was good. <laughs> that that was good flow. Yeah. Yeah. You know, it's it a was, great privilege to have yeah. you, Pastor Craig. Oh, thanks Thank for having you. me. Join us on the show. Well, what a great morning. Hey? Yes. Awesome. Come on. Awesome. Amen. Thanks. See you next week, folks. You've been listening to an encore presentation of New Expressions, which can be heard live every Friday morning at 10 a.m. on 94.9 Rima Central Coast.